Hello and welcome to another video of the Mandelbaum Implant Center. The topic today is sinus lifts. What is a sinus lift? How is it performed the surgery? How long it takes for the bone to heal? Does it hurt? These are questions that uh, my patients frequently ask me while they're here doing the consultation with me. And I would like to cover most of these questions with you here in this video. First of all, I would like to explain to you that we, we all have maxillary sinuses. In fact, we have two, one on each side of the upper jaw. The maxillary sinus is an empty cavity. There is nothing inside. It's located right here above the area of the upper molars, just under the, the cheekbone. And uh, as I was uh, telling before, it's an empty cavity that tends to get larger during our life. And to that we call pneumatization is absolutely normal. Uh, it happens with uh, everybody. At the same time, we, we know that after we have a tooth extracted, we have uh, a certain amount of bone loss in that area. So these two situations uh, combined together, sometimes they lead into uh, a situation where we have not enough bone in height in order to place our uh, dental implants if we want to replace the upper missing molars with dental implants. So in those situations, we can perform a sinus lift uh, and basically we, we usually start by numbing the patient with local anesthetic. Uh, the patient is awake during the procedure, it doesn't hurt at all, the patient just feels a little bit of pressure while we're doing uh, the procedure. It's a very gentle uh, surgical procedure. Uh, so first we numb the patient, then the next thing to do is to gain access to the inside of the maxillary sinus and once we have that access then we have to very gently lift a thin membrane that the sinus has inside. And that's why we call to the procedure sinus lift. Once that uh, elevation of the sinus membrane is concluded, then we insert a bone graft material inside. Here in my practice, uh, I don't use a bone taken from the patient, so we don't have to, to create another surgical uh, area in order to, to harvest that bone. We, we use a bone graft uh, from a company called Geistlich, they are market leaders, they are a German company that is very well known all over the world for the past 20 or 30 years. After we insert the bone graft, then we close uh, the gum in that area, we put some stitches and, uh, and then we have to wait for that bone to heal. In some occasions we can combine the implant placement with the sinus lift. Uh, and if that's the case, then uh, after we insert the bone graft material inside of the sinus, then we'll, we'll place our implants. And again, as I explained before, we, we cover the area with the gums, so we put some stitches and we close up everything. Then we have to wait. We usually wait about six to nine months for the bone graft to heal completely. And uh, I always like to explain that right after we do the procedure, the patient uh, has almost no pain. I have frequently my I give medication to my patients and they, they tell me that they don't need that uh, medication uh, although uh, I insist that they take the anti-inflammatories uh, to reduce the swelling. So the swelling is the only uh, uh, visible side effect of uh, this procedure. So for about five to seven days the patients will have a little bit of uh, visible swelling but as I explained before almost no pain at all. Uh, I would like to invite you to see an animation that explains the procedure and, and I hope that uh, if you have any more questions you can contact our management team uh, or uh, come here for a consultation. Thank you very much for your attention and I will see you soon. Bye bye. If back teeth are to be replaced after having been missing for a longer period, Implants will not find the adequate bony support they need from the maxillary sinus floor. For a successful implantation, considerably more bone is required. To build up this missing bone, first a lateral opening to access the maxillary sinus is required. Then, the tender inner skin of the maxillary sinus, the so-called Schneiderian membrane, is detached from the bone. It 
it may be necessary to insert a proven protective membrane, such as Geistlich BioGuide. The Geistlich BioGuide, with its natural structure, supports wound healing and promotes undisturbed bone regeneration. It is broken down naturally by the body after a few weeks. The sinus floor is then elevated with a proven bone substitute material, such as Geistlich BioOS. The lateral opening is covered with another protective Geistlich BioGuide membrane. Finally, one or several implants are inserted. The natural structure of Geistlich BioOS serves as a scaffold for new bone formation. It's intermingled with new bone after four to six months and is then included in the natural remodeling process of the bone. The implant is now anchored in the body's own bone, just like a natural dental root. This ensures a solid fixation over time. Due to the sinus floor elevation, the implants and crowns fulfill the function of strongly anchored artificial teeth with natural appearance.